Ah, yeah, yeah. Who got a feeling? Warning. Some of you may hate me in a minute. I'm high on believing. It's a new life for me. For me. Good morning, folks. There's a spider web over here. I don't know if you can see it or not. In between those two weeds. That's crazy how spiders do that. Look at that. <laughs> My screen tent was ruined in the wind the other day. I'm I still have it up because I'm thinking about how I can use some of its parts for uh, other stuff. Wonder if I could use it as the netting it as something that I could put around my awning or something. I don't know. Oh, I did laundry yesterday and I forgot my clothes outside. <laughs> well, this morning after I made that video, I came back inside and Sober jumped up like it was nothing, like she's feeling 100%. Came outside, she was sniffing everywhere, going going to the potties, everything like that. Um, incredible. I, yeah. Um, and then we walked over there and I was talking to Jody and Paul and I was saying, well, do, should I even bring her to the vet now? Um... Because they're just going to charge me a whole bunch of money to state the obvious. And so what I think happened... Oh, look at the butterfly. Look at the butterfly. Oh, bye, bye, butterfly. Well, what I think happened was... I went to the store days ago. Um, and I started... And I got this stuff because I figured... I did a lot of research. Um, and you know, dog symptoms and what's good to give them and what's not good to give them and stuff like that. And I figure that Sober's got all the symptoms of having joint pain. Um, and that would explain the lack of appetite, etc. So I went and got this stuff for my hips and joints, the missing link. Pretty expensive stuff. It's got omegas and glucosamine and all that. Look at the ingredients. The first ingredient is ground flaxseed, which is excellent for dogs. Glucosamine is a second. I mean, there's no artificial anything, no uh, preservatives in this. Anyways, I've been giving her this and also this for digestion uh, probiotic blend. It's got prebiotics and, and uh, probiotics in it, like 25 billion microorganisms and stuff. But anyways... Um, Sober has been doing uh, this morning. Obviously, she's responding to it because she's come outside like three, four times since this morning, uh, running around, acting just totally normal. And the proof is in the pudding. Sober, come here. Go aside. Come on. Come on. She's just jumping out like that. <laughs> the last few days, she won't even get up. And now she's walking around like like normal. I mean, you could tell she's got a little bit of discomfort back here, but she's only been on this stuff for a few days. Right, Sober? You getting better? Okay. So if uh, if she continues to show improvement, um, I'm gonna bring her on that camp camping trip this weekend. If not, I already have an appointment for the 28th, um, which is another appointment that I had made, which is three, four days away, four days away. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, she's eating. She's going number one and number two. She's drinking water and she's moving around. So I don't think that it's anything life threatening. Um, so... 
a lot of you may disagree. I'm going to eventually get uh, get her in to do blood work and stuff like that anyways. Uh, just not right now. Um, with everything that's going on, it's kind of crazy. So we'll see. If she doesn't improve, then I'm going to bring her to the vet on the 28th, which I already have an appointment for. And we'll see what happens. Um, a lot of you I know are going to disagree with me immediately. A lot of people have been indoctrinated to think that the the moment anything is going wrong with yourself or or your dog or anything, you got to immediately run to the vet or the doctor and stuff like that. That's why a lot of the clinics are so flooded because people go in there with scratches and stuff, you know, or they'll bring their dog in for a a sprained ankle it's absolutely i mean you just got to do your research and a lot of the times i was feeding sober ginger and uh apple cider vinegar with the mother in it um which both of those things do a lot for your dog um a lot of things you can give them with holistic treatment um and when you're on the road, you're, you may not always have access to a vet. So learning type of stuff like that, I, I, I prefer to lean more on the way of not, uh, or I prefer to lean more on the way of being self-sufficient. So um, if there's things that I can treat my dog with and stuff like that, I try to do that. And I, the internet is a great tool Um so I'm no vet. I don't claim to be a vet either. Um, just, you know, if it looks like an egg and breaks like an egg and then cooks like an egg, it's probably an egg type of thing. Well, that's what, um, that's what I do with her symptoms and stuff like that. And then I, and then I find out what kind of, um, home treatments I can give and stuff. And as you guys know, many, many times before she's had ear infections and people have sworn at me told me i should get my dog taken away from me and everything because i didn't take her to the to the vet i uh i cured her ear infection with uh, apple cider vinegar and and cleansing it three four times a day you know i don't remember how many times a day i did it but i did it myself i didn't take her to a vet many many times on my channel i have uh the sprained ankles she's had hot spots on her feet and then i would hold her uh her feet in uh epsom salts um at night for probably about a half hour i would hold her feet in you know warm warm water with epsom salts and uh that healed her the last time even though everybody was swearing at me the whole time telling me i'm the biggest piece of crap and everything for not taking her to the vet it's not about the money it's about what's what's useless and what's not useless so Please be kind in the comment section below. Um, I am fully aware. Uh, I am I am in tune with Sober's feelings. And um, the moment that I feel that I need to take her to the vet, I will. No problem. You know, I've, I've recently been considering starting up a YouTube channel that doesn't so intimately in, um, show my life for everybody to judge and everything like that all the time. Um, I'm considering it more and more often. Uh, obviously I'm on YouTube to stay, but will everybody realize whether I'm there or not? You know what I mean? Um, I may open up another channel and not tell anybody else about it and, um, just make videos on that that don't concern my life whatsoever. So I don't have to be, uh, judged all the time, judged harshly and stuff and you really get kind of tired of it after seven years i'm sorry to sound negative you know but um when i have negativity going on in my life this channel is about my life and when i have negativity i show it when i when i'm happy as heck i show that too and in the end of the day 80 percent of my channel has been positive so that's another thing people complain about it and uh, me being negative and stuff. Well, okay. This, I've never said that this, uh, this life I'm living is perfect. I'm showing the negatives and the positives. I'm just showing my life. That's it. So with that being said, 
I will keep you guys up to date. Peace out. Thanks for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys so much. You have no idea. Um, I couldn't do any of this without you guys. So thank you very much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Woo! And please keep praying for me and sober. That's another thing. Uh, I had a whole bunch of people praying for me and my dog. And look at this. She likes laying under there for some reason. I don't know why, because it's so hard to get out of there. <laughs> but that's her preferred spot. It's just nice and cool and safe, I guess. <laughs> it is what it is.